a ton of butter in here. Oh my god. We're in front of Pegola Las Flores, which is near the metro station for the Mercado Central. There's so many street vendors here selling things out of their grocery baskets. But we chance upon this store that sells fried stuff. So they sell sopapilla, they sell fried empanadas, and it's really popular. So sopapilla is a traditional Chilean snack which I think is made out of pumpkin and flour and then it's deep fried and it looks like this kind of looks like a, like an arepa I'm gonna give it a try plain first just to see what it tastes like oh it's savory it's too warm because she just fried it tastes like fried bread honestly <laughs> I'm trying to taste the pumpkin in it but I can't taste the pumpkin tastes like fried bread it's pretty delicious. I think we need some sauce. So I put on some sauces. I put this yellow chili sauce, red chili sauce, and some mayo because everything is better with mayo. I don't know what sauces are supposed to go with this, but I just follow what everyone's doing. So I'm going to give it a try with the mayo and the yellow sauce. <laughs> okay. I don't know what the yellow sauce is. It's a little bit sour. It's not spicy at all. I think maybe it's a yellow tomato sauce. I'm gonna give another bite with this red sauce. Mmm. So the red sauce is definitely some sort of chili sauce. Not that spicy. It's delicious. I think this fried bread thing is a good base for all the sauces that they have. It's crispy on the outside, chewy. It's kind of like a taco. The sope, the thick fried taco. Okay, this stall is so popular that we just had to try something else. The empanadas is a national dish of Chile. You can find empanadas almost everywhere. All the convenience stores sell it. Everywhere sells it. They eat it like at any time of the day. There are many varieties of fillings, all with cheese. Pollo con queso, champignon con queso, jamón con queso, <laughs> napolitana. So I got this napolitana empanada, which I think it's cheese with tomatoes. It's massive, it's so heavy. It must be like 500 grams. <laughs> I drizzled this mayo looking sauce on it. It looks so good. I'm gonna give it a try now. Oh, it looks like a curry puff. <laughs> oh, hot. Mmm, it's freshly fried. It really tastes like a curry puff. I haven't gotten the fillings yet, so I'm going to take another bite. Oh, sh it's so hot. Mm. Mm. That is good. Cheese, tomato, and ham. That's what a Napolitana is. I think it's an Italian word. Very delicious, very big. I'm not sure if we can eat lunch after this, but you can't miss it. Empanadas in Chile. We still have not made it into Mercado Central because there's so many stalls outside. There's this drink which I read is traditional in Chile, traditional or very common in Chile, and it's called Mote con Jesillos. It's a cold drink, and what the stall owner did is that he put like this bunch of things, I think it's some sort of grain, and then he scooped up some liquid over it. I'm gonna try this uh, grain thing. Mmm! Where is it from? Singapore. Singapore. See, it's actually really good despite how it looks. The grain tastes like a little bit like mung beans. So in Singapore, there's this dessert called Tao Suan. It tastes like Tao Suan. And then the liquid is sweet and fruity. Mm, and it's cold. It's not too sweet. It's very refreshing. I don't know what this is. I'll try it. It's a preserved peach. I think that's what it is. And I think they use the syrup from the peach as the liquid. It's really good. Mm. I really, really like it. So good. Okay, I'm gonna finish this up. 
I don't know if we'll make it into the Makado. Let's carry on. A few hours later. This is like their version of bubble tea. You get liquid bubbles, which are actually wheat berries, and peach. Amazing. One day later. This is my third cup of Mote Con Tessio. I just had to get it. I don't know when I'll get to taste this again. It looks bad, but it's so delicious. End of flashback. Okay, we finally made it into Mercado Central. Mercado Central is like a seafood wet market. They're selling raw seafood, fish, shrimp, squid, octopus, any kind of seafood you want. They even have this thing called pico roco, which is this giant looking barnacle thing. Apparently it's a very traditional dish in Chile, but it's really expensive so we couldn't order it. When you come into Mercado Central, hundreds of people will heckle you into trying to go into their restaurant. Just walk around and ignore them. It's really, really annoying and definitely puts you off from having a good experience here. But just ignore them and look for a restaurant that looks good. So we came to this little place in the alley. For the starters, we got soup in a cup. I don't have high hopes for this. You can smell a bit of the prawn. Like maybe it's prawn stock, cilantro. Give it a try. Salty, hint of prawn taste. Three out of ten. Our main has arrived. It is a pretty small bowl of clam soup. Oh, there's quite a large amount of seafood inside. Small prawns. Well, the smallest prawn you've ever seen. Squid, octopus, clams, and different kinds of shellfish. Pretty good amount of seafood for the price has a bit of a clam seafood smell, but not overly seafoody. First, give the broth a try. It's piping hot. Mm. Oh, the clam taste is really strong. Not as strong as the one in Arica, but pretty good. And you chase that with some clams. Okay, clams are not that fresh, a little bit mushy, but hmm. overall, the soup is really good. I wish the seafood was fresher and there was more food. Yeah. After a pretty average and disappointing meal at one of the biggest tourist traps in all of Chile, we have came right outside to a very very famous shop that sells empanadas. The shop is called Empanadas Zunino. We've ordered a giant cheese empanada. This thing is massive. It's like the size of my face. This is totally different from the empanada we just had across the road. This one is like a giant croissant. It's got like a thousand layers. I'm not sure if you can see. Extremely crispy. I think there's a ton of butter in here. Everyone seems to be ordering the cheese. The cheese is the most expensive one. It's more expensive than one of meat. So you know it has to be good. I'm just gonna take a bite. Here goes. Empanadas Zunino. That's the most flaky empanada you've ever had. It's so big I didn't get any cheese yet. I'm gonna take one bite. Cheese is not as stringy as that empanada, but the flakiness off the charts. Look at the layers. Look how soft. Look at the air holes. It's so light. So light. So fluffy. So flaky. Incredible. Unfortunately, we couldn't order more because we're really full from lunch, but when you're here, don't go to Mercado Central. Just come outside and grab yourself an empanada. All locals, no tourists. You know it's gotta be good. This is where your things will end up if you don't watch your stuff carefully. 
We're in Mercado La Vega and this Mercado is huge. So it looks like it's a fresh vegetable and fruit market. There's so many stores and the store owners are like calling out to you. Just a sensory overload. Everybody here is a local. They're pushing like big grocery carts. Definitely not a tourist spot. We recommend you come here instead of Mercado Central, which is a tourist trap. So we walked around the entire market. It was so huge. It took us like half an hour and then we came across this whole street of empanada stores. And this one looks to be the most popular. So we had to try because the locals know best. The empanadas are made fresh every day and freshly fried. We got two flavors. One with everything which is meat, beans and cheese. And another one which is banana and cheese. I'm going to try this one, which I think is the Fabeon. Look at it, it's so oily. Empanada 3, Empanada 4. Mmm, <laughs> the crust is very different. Oh my god, the crust is... This is a hum jim bang. It's a hum jim bang bread. There's beans inside. I think you definitely need some sauce. So I got some picante sauce. I don't think it can be that picante. <laughs> Mm. The sauce is delicious. I think it's mayo mixed with chili. It's not that picante. Makes the empanada so good. Mmm. I won't try the other empanada. Banana and cheese is a unique combination. Oh my god. This one's even better. So crispy on the outside and chewy on the inside. Oh my god, the cheese is savory. Oh, it's so good. This is so delicious. Definitely come here and try. We had two empanadas already, but it was so good we had to get another one. This time we got chuleta, which is pork. And even though empanadas are like the de facto national dish of Chile, every empanada that we tried has been totally different from each other. The skin is like the most varied part. Some of them are crispy, like uh, curry puffs. Some of them are flaky, like a croissant. And then you have this one, which is like crispy on the edges, chewy still on the inside incredible texture. And bananas seem to be like the perfect vessel for these amazing sauces. It's usually mayonnaise. This one has chili inside. It just goes so well. Fried food and fat, perfect combination to destroy your stomach and put on the pounds. My finger just like broke through and how crispy it is on the outside and like soft, oh my God. So hot. I wait. Listen to this. So crispy. Since we started traveling in South America, we have tried a lot of empanadas. Every country in South and Latin America seems to have their own take on empanadas, but I have to say that now I know why Chilean empanadas are known as the best. The texture, the taste, the sauce. Chile just does empanadas better than anyone else. You heard that here first. Incredible. We just came down from Cerro San Miguel. The park was really beautiful. It was huge. It had the views of snow-capped mountains, although it was a little bit foggy. You could definitely spend an entire day in the park because it was massive. It reminded me a little bit of Mount Faber because it was top of the mountain and there were cable cars, but this was like 100 times larger. <laughs> we're really hungry now and we stopped by this cafe for some food and I ordered this dish called Pastel de Choclo which is a typical Chilean dish. It's usually made out of corn and at the bottom you normally have ground meat, olives and onions. Very interesting dish, we've not seen anything similar before. I'm gonna give it a try. The top part is uh, pretty thick, it has a very sticky texture. So I think it's maybe like ground up corn and I can see an olive and some meat. It smells like cornbread. 
Mm. I like it. The top part is like a soft cornbread and then the bottom is kind of like a shepherd pie. Mm. It's delicious. Okay, for my main, I ordered something called pavo el horno, which means roast turkey. That's literally what it means in Spanish. We weren't going to film this because we were originally here just for the pasta de choclo, but I took a secret bite. It's delicious. The turkey has some sauce on it and the potatoes it's perfectly roasted that it's like hard on the outside. Oh, it's got some kind of like stuffing or butter sauce. It smells amazing. That is a potato. I love it when the potatoes are crispy on the outside and have nothing on the inside. And turkey is cut into little shreds. Usually turkey is very dry and not very tasty when you have it at your Christmas party, but this is gonna be amazing. Oh, that is the softest, most tender and juicy piece of turkey breast you've ever had. The seasoning is so amazing. I don't even know what's inside. The sauce has been thickened by something. It looks like this walnuts mm. and some kind of herbs. Oh my god, that's an amazing turkey. I think it's because it's coming up to Christmas not very soon, but amazing place. We weren't going to disclose where it is, but this place called Mika's Cafe down in like the central business district of Santiago. Amazing little shop, a little bit pricey, but amazing quality food. Another dish that Chile is famous for is something called a completo, which is basically a Chilean style hot dog. We're here in a very famous, popular chain restaurant called Domino's. Domino's is a type of restaurant called Fuenta de Soda, which means soda fountain. These type of restaurants sell very local, traditional Chilean food. And the reason it's called Fuenta de Soda is because the original founder of Domino's wanted to bring an American-style soda fountain into Chile. Since then, these types of restaurants selling Chilean fast food have been called Fuerta de Sodas. Interesting history fact. So again, a completo is a Chilean hot dog. This is called chacarero, which is a very, very popular type of this completo. It has hot dog, obviously, mayonnaise, tomatoes, as well as green beans, which are fall apart tender because I can't pick one up. Oh, okay, it's got green beans inside along with green chili peppers. Super traditional, we, we saw people eating this everywhere in Arica and here in Santiago, so we had to give it a try. Chilean food is not that famous in South America. Netflix totally skipped this entire country when it came here to do the Netflix street food series. But here it is, Chilean street food. Cheers. Very messy. We got the original version, which is a hot dog on the inside. The other options are with chicken or with uh, beef, but you have to go with the original. The hot dog tastes like Valley Chef hot dogs. Really cheap, salty, no snack at all, <laughs> but totally delicious because this is what we ate as children in Singapore. The green beans don't really add much flavor to it, but let me give it another try. Mm. Oh well, really good dinner. Definitely bang for your buck. Another very common topping that's on the completo is avocado and mayo. Fat and fat on a hot dog. How can it not be delicious? So the avocado here is actually smashed avocado and they're so generous with the fillings because avocados are dirt cheap in South America. That's crazy! <laughs> I'm going to eat it with a fork and knife, like the locals do, because I'm cultured. Oh, they toast the bread nicely. I get what you mean. It's a cheap tasting hot dog, totally homogeneous. But the toppings are so good. Avocado and mayo, they add so much creaminess to the hot dog. Mm. Don't be sad that Valley Chef went out of business because you can just come to Chile for some Valley Chef hot dogs. For our sides, we've got Papas Fritas Especial, Alo Pobre. Basically, it's a mountain of rice with beef, onion shards underneath, as well as a sunny side of egg on top. It looks incredible. Oh my god. Okay, the fries. Incredibly crispy fries. One of the best fries so far we've had in this entire trip. Take your fries. Great. Oh, oh my god. 
<laughs> I'll give it a bite. Taste it with some meat. Mm. Oh, it's almost like Philly cheesesteak. I think it's seared on a hot plate, and then it has these onions. Really incredible. But the start of show is this incredibly perfectly cooked yolk. Delicious meal here in Domino's. It's a chain restaurant, so they have a lot of outlets all over Santiago and probably all over Chile. So don't say Chile doesn't have street food when you got a completo and fries. Oh, all right. So after a very, very long day of walking, we need an ice cold and refreshing drink. Having walked around this area for a few times, we spotted this drink store selling an unknown beverage. We think it's called Chicha. The store is called Chicha Maracucha. There was always a long line for it. There's a main store and then there was stalls selling the same thing on a side street. So it must be really good. Honestly, it looks like a cup of condensed milk. <laughs> it is super thick. It comes with real condensed milk on the top, cinnamon powder, and you get two free toppings. We got Oreo powder, as well as Fruit Loops, which I'm not sure how to eat because it doesn't go through the straw. When the lady was scooping it out of her ice box, it was all pre-prepared in the ice box. It was the last little bit and it was extremely thick, almost like glue dripping down her ladle. It was a little bit disconcerting, but it's popular, so it must be good. And they gave ice, which is what you could ask for in a lot of places. So I'm gonna give it a try. Okay, extremely thick, not thus quenching at all. Very sweet, has a gelatinous-like texture to it. Almost like, almost like rice. Rice pudding with milk. That's the closest way I could describe it. Like the rice is totally amalgamated with the milk of a rice pudding. Not bad, I wouldn't say it's my favorite drink. I think the mote con huesillos was nicer. We did a quick Google and apparently it's a popular drink in, from Venezuela. Not really Chilean, but pretty good dessert, I would say. Really thick, not bad. Definitely give it a try when you're here. The one that I ordered has some hair in it, but uh, besides that, more hair. I'm not sure our stomachs are strong enough for food being sold out of grocery carts. <laughs> Dubiously obtained grocery carts. The texture is like mucus. The taste is like cake batter. John will have to finish this. Cheers. 